Anna Devane happens to be a very competent policewoman, and she's also one of the finest people that I know. She is a megalomaniac. The woman would run over her grandmother to get what she wants. Sir, you are full of it. Well, you are protecting her because she's your boss. She is my friend. Well, then, why don't you just take your blinders off and take a good look at your friend and see her for what she is? She is a cold, ruthless, power-hungry... Well, I won't use the word in front of a lady, but it rhymes with rich. You know something, Mr. Holmes? If you weren't so tubby, I'd pick you up by your ear and throw you out of this town, you know that? Oh, really? That's exactly what I do. Oh, you get a lot of nerves saying Excuse me. what's all the yelling about? I never heard such a racket. Stop this nonsense. This instant. My granddaughter lies unconscious in the hospital, and you two are carrying on like fishwives. I'll tell you what, Mr. Holmes, we'll continue this discussion another time, all right? Indeed we shall. Chris, go, let's go. You'll be late. Put on your coat, Ted, and help me out with the car. We're going to the hospital? Well, where else? Teresa needs me. Oh, I pray that doctors will have better news of my darling. Hurry up, get your coat. I think we've had enough classroom work for a while. Most of us have, anyway. So I'm going to send you out in the field today. Right. right. What's the drill, Sergeant? Each team is going to hook up with a veteran police officer on patrol. You're going to work with this officer, listen to him, you take orders from him, and you learn something. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course, I know that this kind of routine work might be a trifle boring for our celebrity heroes in the group, but I'm sure you'll try to muddle through, right, Mr. Jones? Oh. What do you want you to do? What's that, Wells? I was just telling Cadet Jones, I can hardly wait to find out who we're assigned to, Sergeant. So. Uh, I'll bet. All right, class, attention. Here's your assignment for today. If you have any questions, you can... Wells, you can ask them now. We're to report to the and Ed Brown at noon. Where? Uh, the Bean Sprout restaurant, do you know it? Here. Yeah, it's by General Hospital, I know it. Jones, I'm sorry I wasn't able to team you and your partner up with uh, Chief Devane today. Well, oddly enough, she didn't ask for you. You must be slipping. All right, listen up, everybody. I'm going to let you go early today. All right. Yeah. But not on your own time. I want every team out there patrolling the streets now. Before we meet with the officers, sir? Yeah, do you think you can uh, handle that with the hot shot today? Hmm? Yes, sir. Good. Now, I want you to keep your eyes open. And I want a written report on your observation on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. Is that understood? Don't go looking for any trouble. This is just routine cop work. I don't want you arresting any murderers or busting up any drug rings. You think you can restrain yourself, Mr. Jones? I'll do my best, Sarge, as always. Just leave the super cop at home, okay? I want you getting hurt. You might hurt somebody else. But worst of all, you might have to put somebody in the hospital, an innocent bystander. I never thought I'd run into one. What are we going to do? I don't know. I'm going to make a hell of a report to Lewis, though. Maybe he'll give me a passing grade on one of my papers. Hey, I'm serious. Don't you think we should tell somebody about this? No. No, not now. First thing we do is get over to that restaurant and meet that officer, Ed Brown. We don't want to be late for that and have him go in and tell Lewis. After that, we'll go to Amherst. Don't believe it. Lewis sends us on a simple patrol, and we see a cop on the take. Question is, what do we do? Then what do we do about it? We go to Ann as soon as we're done patrolling with Officer Ed Brown. And bypass Sergeant Lewis? What do you mean? He's our dispatching officer on this assignment, okay? That makes him our commanding officer. Now, the manual says you always have to report back to your CO. Good point. And besides, if we go over his head to the chief, he'll never forgive either one of us. No, partner, I guess I have to agree with you. I mean, we don't want to alienate ourselves from the Port Charles Police Department before we're even part of it. 
Well, if it's going to directly to Anna Devane, that'd be a mistake. Probably underhanded. That's what they consider it. So we're going to straight to Sergeant Lewis, right? I think so. At least Lewis is an honest cop. Is there any other kind? Now, what are you rookies doing eating anyway? We were supposed to meet here, not have lunch. And I prefer a fancier place. How's the uh, floating rib sound? My treat, okay? Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Officer Ed Brown. 